TV.com. Looking for a man's touch? Massage M4M.com. Here is a news flash. Hello out there in Internet Wonderland. I'm Jonathan Riggs. And, I'm and this is the gay news. Here is a news flash. Iraq War update. So the dish is only this size. It's the size that'll fit right in your rectum. What's the gay weather looking like? All right. Well, the gay weather. Deviant sexual intercourse. I got a video to tell you all about. Oh. Oh. Hooray! Oh, you think you haven't gone to the Gay Channel yet? We have the Gay Entertainment Report with Mr. Leo Buck and a wonderful interview that he has, an exclusive interview with a big star. They watch it and <laughs> see it. <laughs> Anyways, Gay Entertainment Report with Mr. Leo Buck. Hey there, I'm Leo Buck, as always, bringing you the kind of entertainment you're not going to get uh, find in the paper... P not going to find in the pages of People Magazine or Entertainment Weekly. As many cities across this country prepare to celebrate gay pride, it's a great time to recognize those who have, in their own way, scored some type, of, uh, some type of victory for the gay community. One such pioneer is Mr. Norman Corpy, best known from MTV's The Real World. I recently had the pleasure of talking with Mr. Corpy regarding his hilarious new project called The Wedding Video, and here's what he had to say about that. that was, that's always been kind of my role with The Real World, um, is that I'll analyze the situation and I'll know how to just get a little zinger in there or twist the picture a little bit. You know, I like the sense of irony, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, and I like to show the world a different way to see something. You know, it's important for me to create a new vision. I go, wow, I've never really thought that we could actually create a wedding video and make that a feature film. We're talking with Mr. Norman Corpy, uh, best known to the worldwide audience as one of the first openly gay people in uh, reality television on uh, the New York cast of The Real World. He has gone ahead and done a video called The Wedding Video. And I wanted to bring all the straight people into the mix, have them sophomorically go, you know, what is this gay about? But then they learn, you know, they go through this process of learning and they see this, like, ultimately this relationship kind of, like, unveil itself. You know, it was very important for me to choose someone that was Canadian. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted people to realize at the end of this film that we you know, as same-sex relationships, you know, we're not really treated the same. I mean, we do not have certain rights in this country, and that's wrong, you mm -hmm. know. It's, you know, if you fall in love with someone from a foreign country, you know, when their visa's up, that's, that's just kind of wrong. And a lot of people who've seen the film, and a lot of people are mostly straight that come and see the film that we've been screening, and it takes them a few seconds to go, wait a second. You know, I do see something that's not right here. This is kind of like a wrong situation. And we're talking about the philosophical right. angles. It's d damn funny. I mean, you've got a very dry sense of humor. It's one of those you want to see more than once because yeah. you'll pick up things that I didn't see that it's the hilarious. first time. And so you'll be getting different right. laughs every time that you, right. you watch it. Um, well, that's just about it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Norman Corpy, uh, on behalf of Village yes. TV. Thank Good you luck. Very much. and. Absolutely. Congratulations on a very, very funny video. And we would like to thank uh, Mr. Norman Corpy and Ms. Kimberly Sturdivant of Dominion 3 Public Relations for making that report possible. As for the wedding video, uh, I highly, very much recommend it. And it's now available in video and DV stores everywhere. Check it out. You'll be very glad you did. Oh, wow. That was a very interesting, very...